I was blown 20 metres. I heard the rocket coming in. I was blown 60 feet. It went over and I hit the roof. The shrapnel went through the back of my brain. It shattered my cheekbones. Apparently what happened is a soldier stood on an undetected IED, um, killing him instantly, and then the shrapnel blast, or the blast from that IED, then hit my company tactical headquarters. Uh, and I was found in a bush about 20 metres away, um, cradling my head. I realised how serious it was because obviously it was the brain and they had said it, um, the shrapnel was... was millimetres away from the spinal cord, but at the time would never have envisaged what we've had to live with since. Um, I imagined it was all going to be physical balance and walking and all sorts of things, but actually we've had a different set of challenges to, um, to overcome emotionally. And it is quite difficult with the children because um, Olivia, ha Olivia very much sees a different daddy to the one that went away. Annabelle will of course grow up only knowing Stuart as he is now. Um, but Olivia, it's difficult for her because Stuart's changed hugely. I have difficulties with problem solving, attention, working memory, uh, modification, organising, planning, amending. Um, so everything that I was in terms of my role, in terms of my 18 years in the army, being an officer, having command, the management responsibility. Um, I'm in pretty much ineffective in all of those now. So that really is cr really frustrating for me. It must have been hard, it must be hard. It is, I think, it, you know, and I think if it had been physical, it would have been easier to come to terms with and to manage, um, because this will never change now. This is what we will have to live with um, for the rest of Stuart's life. Set. Or if the enemy get hold of them and they phone the families at home, tell them that their son or their husband's been captured, which isn't good. So each week we get 20 welfare minutes on the sat phone instead, which is great. Hearing your wife's voice, speaking to the kids. But it's really hard too. You feel the distance. After speaking with them, I have to try really hard to disconnect from them again. And saying goodbye. That's the hardest. Saying goodbye. <laughs>